Oh, I didn't have to go very far. Uh, here's part two, but didn't have to go very far to get a good shot of the boats. Uh, I don't know exactly what they are, but I'm assuming they're part of the, uh, the dredging crew that comes out here. See, since this lake isn't like properly filled with like a spring or whatever, they have to have like boats and stuff out to uh, help dredge it to kind of act as a spring, I guess. I don't really know what all goes into that, but that's just what they do. Eh, but then again, they could be boats out there just testing water, testing the little content of it and stuff like that. Ooh, there's a family of geese. Not a lot of them out in San Diego right, either. Just kind of chilling. Oh, they got little baby goslings. That's cool. All right. Okay. Back on the path. <laughs> Not sure if I'm gonna do this as like one continuous video or if I'm just gonna edit down little parts here. So we're just gonna have to wing it. I may even have to like edit out a bunch of parts, you know, to maybe compile it and make it like a best of or something like that. I don't really, don't really know. But anyway, <laughs> like I said, it's uh, it's gonna be back home. Gonna be leaving in about a week or so. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna suck leaving. But uh. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun being on a boat for the first time, being stationed on a boat for the first time. Ooh, look, some geese eating. I wonder what you guys are eating. What you eating? It's like they're just eating random pieces of grass or something. But, oh, dang bugs. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I gotta. Ooh, it's the sound of a fish. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being a little random here, it's just a lot of stuff around here, so I try to get everything in as much the best I can. Try to get the path, try to get the lake. There's a... Here, I'll step out here for a sec. Try to avoid all the goose poop. But uh, out back there, there's a couple islands on the lake. Uh, there's that one, that one, that one. I think there's one more way out there. Uh, I don't know how many of them there are, but those are the ones that I know of. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if they have any uh, wildlife on them at all. I'm not really sure, but it'd be kind of cool to, like, set up your own house out there, wouldn't it? I mean, I wonder, I wonder if you can set up your own house out there if, if it's, like, owned by the park or what. But, yeah, that'd be... Pretty cool. Oh, what's that? What's that? Are those? What are they? they? Look like beavers or something. That's so cool. So weird. Anyway. Are they beavers? Oop. There's a bunch of them out there. There's like three or four of them out there. Yeah. Oop. Maybe one of them will pop their head out. Just kind of swimming around out there. You see that? Little ripples out there. Oh, there's another one out there. Something out there. I don't know what it is. Pretty sure it's a beat. Pretty 
pretty sure it's a beaver. There's another one just popping up. That's so cool. Huh. Well, anyway, <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's too many beavers in San Diego either, so. Could have been a group of fish too, I didn't really think of that. Seems like they were just kind of swimming up. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Ooh, something else popping up. Could be fish, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's such a good day to be out, though. Nice and cool and. Not very breezy though, but it's pretty good for taking a uh, video. That way there's no, uh, no big woof, of, you know, gust of wind or whatever. Kind of muddle things up. Man, the fish are really biting today, aren't they? You hear them off in the distance, you know, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's another island off in the distance. It's pretty cool. And uh, just across the uh, across the lake is a town called St. Mary's. It's a neighboring town. I often kind of wondered if uh, the lake was frozen, like frozen solid enough for somebody to walk on. If I could just like walk from here to St. Mary's just on the lake, that'd be so cool. No pun intended. Oop, there's another fish. Plopping up, getting bugs, I guess. Ooh, check that out, way out in the distance. Looks like a bunch of little slow floaty things. I don't know if you guys can see that though. They're just kind of sifting through. It's kind of hard to make out on this phone. It doesn't really zoom in that well. So, oh, low branch. <laughs> Ooh, dog park. Oh, and they actually have dogs out there now. I remember when uh, me, John, and uh, Raj brought our dogs out here. Shoot, that was like ages ago just I was in one of the fairly early vlogs I think it was vlog 16 26 I remember it had a six in it but uh, I'll probably look for it when I go home <laughs> I'm done with the walk yeah Let's look at all the little doggies Ooh, you can hear them too 
Yeah, I remember recording a, a vlog out here. Like when I uh, brought our dogs out here. Ooh, you can see the, uh, the green water tower off in the distance, way out there. Poking out. <laughs> yeah. It's a dramatically different landscape than uh, San Diego. A lot different. <sighs> smells like a combination of goose poop and dead fish right now. <laughs> It's just hard to film everything all at once because you got the lake and you got the path and everything's coming at you all at once. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, coming home has been uh, a lot of fun. Like I said, you know, meeting with family and all that stuff. And hopefully before the week's out, I'll be able to hang out with my friends uh, down in Urbana. Man, can you believe it's been almost five years since, uh, since I left Urbana? Let's see, it was 2007, so. Eight, nine, ten. Holy shit, five years. <laughs> didn't even didn't even get a degree out of it. I wonder what that sound is. Oh. It's like, like a cat or something. You hear that? Huh. What's going on the treats? That's so bizarre. I don't see a cat or anything like that. So bizarre. Oh. May even be a baby raccoon. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's just being back on subject. Once again, ADD getting in the way. Ooh, look, ducks. <laughs> right as I was trying to get back on subject. Yeah, we got plenty of those. Plenty of those. Back in, uh, back in San Diego. But hopefully, if I don't get distracted here. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I can't believe it's been uh, five years since I left Urbana. And man, what a what a journey I've had since then. It's just it's just been nuts. Um, kind of uh, the you know from 2007 to 2010 have been pretty rough. It's uh, Went through a lot of uh, a lot of hardships, a lot of hardships. But I've also gone through some uh, good personal growth too. Definitely uh, got to learn a bit about myself and all that stuff. Even though not a lot of stuff, you know, really worked out for me in those three years but uh yeah learned a lot and 2010 joined the navy and uh things have been going pretty good for me since managed to have a steady job for uh going on two years now yeah june 24th it will be my uh second year in and uh i'll be on a real ship by then <laughs> So, yeah, it's been a long, strange journey since leaving Urbana, but I really hope to go back to college. I mean, that's why I'm just gonna, 
you know, do my, uh, do my time in the Navy and then, uh, get out so I can go back to college. Ooh, look at that birdhouse. So cool. Ooh, what's this? Sorry, I keep on getting distracted whenever I try to monologue. You know, something else pops up, but... Let me check this out. This is definitely new. I don't remember this being uh, out here, but apparently you can see it through the sun. It's like a little drainage pipe or something. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's like a little drainage pipe, just kind of filters through down here, and I guess it just kind of gets deposited out that way. Huh. Let's check that out. Yeah, I think it's deposited out of that little pipe right there. So I guess it's like an overflow measure or something like that. I'm not really sure. Yeah. They've really done a lot to uh, help, you know, prevent overflow and stuff like that because while it's pretty dry right now, you know, during rainy season, uh, the lake can, uh, and usually does, tend to flood certain uh, places. So I guess that's just some cautionary methods to kind of keep things in check, stuff like that. But yeah, getting back to my Urbana story before I get too distracted again. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna basically just do my uh, time in the service and uh, get out and go back to college. But uh, as far as which college, uh, I'm not really sure yet. And I still got some time to think about it, but I'm thinking, you know, uh, probably something a bit closer to home. I mean, I'd love to go to uh, a college in California, either in San Diego, San Francisco, you know, places like that. But, um, I don't know, as much as I love it out in California, I really miss my family. So I think I'm, you know, gonna try to get one that's a bit closer to home, either one in Ohio or maybe one in Michigan, something like that. So, oop, better cut this off and make a part three. <laughs> Getting a little high in the time. So stay tuned for part three.